The International Space Station has been Earth's window to space for over 25 years. As time marches on, the once state-of-the-art structure is beginning to show its age. This prompts an essential question. What will succeed the ISS? While the notion of constructing something entirely new is tempting, the approach taken has been evolutionary, not revolutionary. Using the ISS as the foundation, plans are being set in motion to construct an even more advanced space station. This is not our first foray into the cosmos. The space race has roots dating back to the 1960s. But with companies like Axiom Space entering the fray, the story has a fresh take. The ISS began its journey in 1998 and is a marvel of global teamwork. Beyond merely exploring space, the ISS has been a hub for revolutionary research. This research has given us advancements in the field as diverse as medicine, technology, and agriculture. Axiom Space is gearing up for something monumental. In 2026, they're slated to become the pioneer private firm to append a module to the ISS. But this is just the beginning. Axiom aims to connect additional modules year after year, evolving the station one section at a time. It's akin to a jigsaw puzzle, with each piece drawing the bigger picture into focus. Once their vision is complete, Axiom Station will tactfully disconnect from the ISS, slowly deteriorating and combust upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. With a plethora of players in the space industry, you might ponder the significance of Axiom. After all, since SpaceX's inaugural launch in 2008, the commercial space sector has skyrocketed. However, Axiom stands out. While many space startups are helmed by enthusiastic young minds eager to venture beyond, Axiom's leadership is steeped in experience. Its inception traces back to individuals connected to the early space missions, akin to descendants of the Wright brothers aiming to redefine aviation. Experience isn't just a badge of honor, it's an invaluable asset. This seasoned team, acquainted with past challenges and past triumphs, is poised to shape the next era of space exploration. Diving into specifics, the Axe One missions crew, under Commander Lopez Alegria, incurs a cost of $35,000 per night per person. A quick math reveals a whopping $1.1 million for a full crew over eight nights, contributing to their culminative bill of $55 million from Axiom. Crafting state-of-the-art spacecraft demands years of dedication and cutting-edge technology. Axiom's endeavors signify our enduring spirit to reach further into the unknown. Leading Axiom's charge is Michael Suffredini, a 10-year veteran at NASA and witness to the ISS's transformation from an idea to reality. Dr. Cam Gafrian, a co-founder of Axiom, previously headed a significant NASA division tasked with astronaut training and ISS management. Indeed, many of Axiom's top brass have roots in NASA, a testament to their expertise and vision. Historically, the genesis of the ISS project can be traced back to the 1980s. With collective contributions from nations worldwide, the ISS emerged as the most extensive human-made structure in orbit, an engineering marvel akin to the sky's Eiffel Tower. Currently, Axiom is leaps and bounds ahead of its competitors. While many are still conceptualizing future space habitats, Axiom's first module, HAB-1, targeting a 2026 launch, is set to be a state-of-the-art residence and research hub for astronauts. It's worth noting that space stations have graced our skies since the 1970s. Skylab, America's debut space station, launched in 1973, has set the precedent. Weighing an astonishing 77 tons, Skylab hosted three astronaut crews over its lifespan, executing over 270 experiments spanning multiple scientific domains. When astronauts arrive at Axiom section of the space station, they will experience something different. Instead of the tight quarters they might experience, they'll find private sleeping areas, Similar to compact hotel rooms in Japan, each sleeping area is equipped with adjustable lights, a touchscreen, and a window showcasing a stunning view of Earth. Philip Stark, 
a renowned French designer crafted these. He imagined them as nests, highly comfortable and welcoming. The lighting inside can even change colors to reflect the astronaut's mood, a unique feature in the vastness of space. Fans of classic cinema might find the design reminiscent of Stanley Kubrick's iconic film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Axiom's first module, HAB-1, is set to link with the ISS. One year later, they'll add another part called Axiom HAB-2. This means the Axiom section capacity will increase from 4 to 8 astronauts. An interesting feature of the second module is a robotic arm, similar to the renowned Canadian space robot arm. This arm will be vital for life support in the Axiom section ensuring astronauts have essential resources like breathable air and drinkable water. Subsequently, Axiom plans to introduce a research and manufacturing facility, which will attach to HAB-2, forming an L-shaped. The goal? Harnessing the unique properties of near-Earth space for groundbreaking research and potential manufacturing. Space offers a different environment where many elements behave unexpectedly such as the spherical shape flames take or the peculiar movement of fluids. This uniqueness presents a treasure trove of experimental opportunities. Another innovative idea from Axiom is the Earth's Observatory, an attachment designed to provide astronauts with a panoramic view of our planet and the vast cosmos. Imagine being able to witness the entirety of the Earth's splendor from space. Additionally, Axiom aims to incorporate a power thermal module, which will connect to solar panels, ensuring electricity is always available and maintaining the optimal temperature for the station. With these advancements, Axiom Segments is equipped to function independently from the primary station. Interestingly, NASA is sponsoring leading space station initiatives, with Axiom being the front runner. Other notable companies in the lineup include Blue Origin, NanoRacks, and Northrop Grumman. Yet, only Axiom has the privilege of building on the existing ISS. The significance of this lies in the age of the ISS, having been operational since 1998. It is nearing retirement by 2030. Therefore, NASA is scouting for its successor and is open to collaborations with private enterprises. The success of companies like Blue Origin remain to be seen, making the onset of a thrilling era in space exploration. In 2021, Axiom embarked on two notable missions to the ISS, AX-1 in April and AX-2 in May. They partnered with SpaceX to utilize the formidable Crew Dragon and Falcon 9 rocket. Leading the AX-1 was a seasoned NASA astronaut accompanied by eminent figures like Larry Connor, a real estate magnate, Mark Pathy, a prominent Canadian businessman, and Ethan Stibb, an influential Israeli investor. Each of these visionaries invested an impressive $55 million for this endeavor. Beyond mere space tourism, the mission comprised 25 zero-gravity experiments and more activities pre- and post-journey. Participants even had the latitude to incorporate personal research initiatives. Such a model introduces a new dimension where space becomes a realm of unmatched creativity and unparalleled adventures. As Axiom ventures forth, it signifies a future where space is not just a frontier, but a platform for limitless possibilities. The AX-2 crew was diverse. John Schaffner wasn't just a wealthy individual, but also a racing champion with aspirations of navigating a spaceship. Guiding them was an experienced astronaut joined by Ali Alcorni and Rayana Barnawi from the Saudi Space Commission. This team symbolized the changing face of space travel. Historically, space journeys were predominantly undertaken by prestigious powerhouses like the USA and Russia. Yet, the AX-2 mission indicates a shift where nations globally are participating in the space race. Traditionally, Space voyagers were the elite of human capability. Think of astronauts as the Olympic champions of space travel, highly intelligent, physically fit, and exceptionally disciplined. Icons like Neil Armstrong and Yuri Gagarin underwent rigorous training to overcome the harshest space challenges. The caliber is what Tom Wolfe described as having the right stuff. 
In the broad history of space exploration, astronauts have been brave pioneers. But what if a typical person, like a school teacher or a baker, took to the stars? Imagine Mr. Smith, a middle school teacher, trying to explain algebra while floating in zero gravity. Picture Mrs. Jones, a local baker, wrestling with the challenges of making bread without Earth's familiar pull. These scenarios might seem whimsical, but they are crucial in understanding how ordinary people would cope in space. Historically, space missions have been the domain of the elite, specifically trained astronauts. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth, setting a precedent for future astronauts. These professionals undergo years of rigorous physical and mental training to make sure they can handle the stress of space. But as we stand on the brink of a new era, where space tourism can become a reality, understanding how the general populace reacts to space's unique conditions becomes paramount. Recent data suggests that by 2040, space tourism could be a multi-billion dollar industry. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are racing to make space accessible for the elite and everyone. In this context, Axiom's groundbreaking company's role becomes pivotal. Their mission isn't just to explore space, but to examine how average individuals like Mr. Smith and Mrs. Jones would navigate and adapt to the cosmic realm. Axiom studies involves detailed observations of people with no formal astronaut training as they experience space for the first time. By analyzing their physical and emotional reactions, Axiom aims to tailor future spacecraft and missions to be more inclusive. This inclusivity means making space travel safer and more comfortable for all, regardless of their background or profession. For instance, if Mrs. Jones struggles with baking in space, it could lead to redesigning spacecraft kitchens or inventing new cooking methods better suited for weightlessness. The potential benefits of this research are immense. By understanding the needs of challenges of everyday travelers, spaceflight can be democratized. No longer will space be exclusive playground of a chosen few. The dream of children worldwide looking up at the stars and wishing to visit them could be within reach in our lifetime. By the 2050s, Statistics project that thousands, if not millions, will have traveled to space. Family holidays might not just be to distant countries, but to distant planets or moons. The Axiom Station represents more than just a celestial dwelling. It is a research hub. This initiative stands on the legacy of the International Space Station, continuing its quest for knowledge and exploration. A noteworthy feature of Axiom Station is its expansive window. This isn't merely an architectural marvel, but a vantage point offering an unparalleled view of Earth. This perspective is undoubtedly enticing, where our planet can be observed in all its glory. It's not hard to imagine the wealthy elite queuing up, ready to invest significantly for such a breathtaking experience. Do you believe Axiom Station is the future of space living? Let us know in the comments, smash that like, and subscribe for more.